Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know where I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, please give me a big thumbs up. Even share if you feel like you need to. And if you feel like you want to go ahead and drop a, uh, drop a line or two, I love to get the positive feedback. You know, tell me about your experience of being a Hayoka or, you know, even a light worker. You know, we all connected in one kind of way or another. I'm sorry, y'all. I got my German candy today, the Hobby Bowl. I hope I'm pronouncing that the same. I love these things. I get a sweet tooth every now and then. So I'm sorry. I guess we're having like a mukbang thing today. So I apologize. But anyways. If I have not said it already. To my returning subs. <laughs> much love to you. Namaste. Love and light. Many blessings. Many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you for the support. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's, why is it hard to help others awaken? Today I'm listening to wish, the Wish Fulfilling Miracle Tone of the 40, 432 Hertz. Manifesting your dreams and make your dreams come true. Amen to that. You know, I love this. I don't know about you, but... It's like with me, a lot of times when I'm watching YouTube, especially in the middle of the night when I'm falling asleep, I watch so many different videos or whatever, but I feel like I'm going to sleep. I always put on like the most peacefulest meditation and it feels good. I, I don't remember my dreams, but I know I wake up and I want, you know, it's like, um, it's like I'm clear. It's, it's just like you had a cow gone bath. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But anyways, why is it hard to help others? Why is it? Especially when they're screaming for help. I mean, it's just like, I'm sorry. This hair is working my nerves. But, um, it's hard to help others. It's just like some people I know, you know, on Facebook and stuff like that. When they're having all these issues, and it's just it's like you know, you're you tell them, hey, I'm here to help, you know, and it's just like, no, I don't want to talk to nobody right now. But then you want to put it on, you know, you want to put it on social media. I know you've seen people like that, and it's just you know that's why a lot of times I don't even go on social media that much unless it's like here on YouTube, you know, doing these, going on your channels and making my videos. That's why I was like really debating. Because even though I am, I'm still, like I said, I'm still learning more about the Hayoka. Like I was said, I, I was told today that I didn't pronounce it right. So I apologize. I'm not trying to insult anybody's uh, cultural language or anything like that. But it's like, you know, when you, things come to you for a reason, you know, and it was just like somebody told me, you know, I was a poster, I was fake or whatever. And I kind of laughed it off because I'm just like, you know, anybody who knew me, or even when you have watched my videos, I fit those characteristics. You know, I bring you in, into my world. You know, I want you to be entertained. I want you to be, you know, when you when you leave listening to my videos, I want you to feel that that positive that positive vibe. You know, you you know, you're like, hey, you know, I really get her. You know what I'm saying? You. you you know, yeah, I've, I've gone that route. You know, I've always been a class clown. You know, I had to be the one to joke. You know, I hated to see people get bullied in school. Or I was that one that always had to be the center of attention to sit up here and make people laugh. You know, I was that type of person. You know, my, 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 that, you know, I used to have, you know, my mom's friends or my teachers used to tell me, you know what, you should have been on stage. You are always entertaining. You're always jokeful. You know, sometimes you joke a little bit too much. And I'm like, well, that's me. You know, but then there's times to actually be serious at the same time. But it's just like when you see people out there and they clearly need help and it hurts my heart. 
And it's just like you can lead a horse to water, but you can never make him drink, you know. And sometimes it, it won't, you know. And I guess that's the reason why we attract, you know, narcissistic people. And it's just like some people will come at you and say the most harshest things, and you're just trying not to take it personal. You're ready to box them sometimes, but you try not to take it personal because there's something that's personally wrong with them. You know, like with my my situation, I told him, you know, you're personally dealing with some stuff that you want to take it out on me, and take, you take it out on the person that you love the most. And it's just the fact is, that, you know, I just wonder, just narcissists have narcissists have feelings. I always wonder, you know, do you guys have feelings? You know, and it's not to be mean, but it's just like anybody who goes out their way to hurt you like that, it's just crazy. And you're just like, you know, all it can help you so much. And then sometimes it's just like it's physically draining to the point where you have to walk away. You know, and I had that situation because with, you know, you know, somebody I knew before and they have totally changed on me. And it was just like, you know, they had death in their family, you know, and everybody grew you know, different ways. Like with me, with my dad, you know, I lost. I felt like I was going to lose my mind. I spiraled out of control. I smoked a lot. You know, I wasn't really a heavy drinker, but I was, you know, I smoked marijuana a lot. And, you know, and it was just like I had to numb myself because I really couldn't believe the shock. You know, how did I have to find out this way? You know, and I really felt like, you know, it was just the signs were always there and I was that tight. You know, there's sometimes I go through that, you know, where, you know, I'm, you know, there's things that's coming to me and, you know, there's things that we can, we can do and we don't even realize we're doing it. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're still awakening. and there's some things that we're all trying to understand why we went through this, but then there's things that are coming to us that's mirroring us that, that we don't even notice. And so I was just wondering, and, you know, because I, I just look at other people's comments and, they, and they're going off talking about, you know, their exes and stuff like that. They, you can see that they really got the potential to really do that. And I feel like that too at times, you know, even though it's just the way that things go, you know, I'm still a harbinger. I mean, not harbinger, harbinger but, hit, you know, hold on to a little anger sometimes because I feel like, you know, it should not be that hard, especially when you know you had that information. You know, I wouldn't have to go through all this, the, these turmoils and rejections and stuff like that. But then I look at it as a positive aspect as in, look how much it, it has strengthened me. Look how much it made me say, you know what, even though this pisses me off that I have to keep going through this, that people don't want to listen that you know what there's there's somebody listening out there i i still get keep getting viewed viewers even though i don't constantly talk about my situation with my father and stuff like that this is my way of healing this is my way of awakening you know there are some things that you know that i don't want to face that's hard to let go of you know, but I know they're happening for a reason. People are coming into my life for a reason. People from my past are coming back to my life. And, and I had a chance to go off, you know, because they did me dirty. And I just decided not to do that because they were going at the same, they were going through the their time as and going through, you know, going through rock bottom. When you go to rock bottom, you know, that's the most ugliest feeling to feel because you feel like hopeless at times. And so I know what that felt like. So, you know, there's times, you know, I, I, like I told you guys, I'm human. There's days, you know, I feel like, why is life so unfair? Why did I have to go through all these changes? Why couldn't it just be, you know, truth or whatever? You see all these candles lit, <laughs> you know, and it's just like I'm so emotionally drained. But then I'm in a positive, positive way. So if I look a certain way or whatever like that, it's just like I told you guys, I've been going through a lot lately. And so if you have not really seen me on, on your page and stuff like that, please forgive me because I have been going through a lot. And But it's in, it's in positive 
practice in positive ways, but I've been just really going through a lot. So I will talk to you later. I'll, I had to redo this video because once again, I'm not used to my sound bar and I forgot to unplug it again. So I had to go ahead and redo this video. So much love to you. Keep me in your prayers. I will definitely keep you in mind. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Keep you guys in my prayer. Keep you love bugs in my prayers. Much love to you. Namaste. Love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. Love you. Peace. And be wild.